Hello and welcome back to the second part of my VW Caddy Micro Camper Conversion. This is how the van looked after the first part of the conversion. If you haven't seen that video already, that is up on the channel. I'd recommend watching that first so you can get an idea of where we got to. First thing we did was make some blinds for the back windows of the van. I saw quite a few that were expensive to buy. So we decided to have a go at making some ourselves. We bought some felt and thick cardboard from a local craft shop and I cut the cardboard into strips and then we sewed the strips of cardboard into their own individual pockets in the felt. And then as you can see here, they go up nice and easily. Velcro to the top and then when I want to take them down, just undo the Velcro and they concertina back down into the gaps below. Next thing was carpeting and fitting the larger panels, so that's the sliding door panels on the side and the rear quarter panels in the back of the van. They were quite easy to carpet being as they were big panels. We had the door panels cut by someone with a machine However, we decided to do the back quarter panels by hand, which was quite difficult. It took a bit of time to get them perfect, but once they were done, they fit in quite nicely. Next thing was to put the plywood floor into the bottom of the van. We cut this ourselves and slowly whittled it down so it would fit in perfectly. We then fitted an industrial grade vinyl floor so hopefully it should be easy enough to clean and will be non-slip when I get in with muddy boots on. Next we started on the kitchen unit. We used birch ply for this, measured it up and made a nice sized unit and then worked out where we wanted the divider and the doors to go. We had someone cut out the doors, did a really nice job of them and then fitted piano hinge. We did sand the doors down a little just so they are a bit more flush. Fit the piano hinge and that seemed to work very well. We spent quite a bit of time on the doors, slowly sanding them down but trying not to change the shape of them so they'd still look nice from the outside but wouldn't catch as you close them. Eventually we did get them nice and flush, keeping their shape so they look nice and tidy. We finally fitted the unit, it went in really nicely. As you can see the cupboard doors opening and closing here. It's a really big unit for the size of the van but we sort of had a plan in our head before we started of how big we wanted things so the unit was as big as it could be with the bed still a decent size. The bed pushes right up against the unit when it's fully extended and it all seems to just sit nicely together. We then made a divider in the kitchen unit so you can see I've got two big sections there and the fridge at the end. The unit towards the end of the van is going to contain all my food and little things that I'll need in the night time when the bed's extended as that cupboard is still accessible with the bed out. The other unit is going to have all bigger stuff so my gas bottle goes in there, my pots and pans, saucepans, big stuff that I won't necessarily need to hand at night. We then moved on to cutting a worktop. We had some tress foot given to us, so we decided to use that as a worktop. It's 
really heavy, really solid. And to be honest, we did struggle fitting the sink to it and fixings to it because it's so tough. It's very difficult to damage, so it should make a really good work top, all in all. I then started making a little shelf for the back compartment of the kitchen unit. Just wanted somewhere that I could separate bigger stuff on the bottom, put some smaller stuff up top. So the shelf just separates the back compartment, rests nicely on the back of the wheel arch and a few little fixing blocks and the gas is in the middle cupboard. Next up we made an overhead shelf. So this little unit is going to go above the kitchen and it's going to be used to store cups, mugs, glasses, that sort of thing. I then went and had some foam cut for the bed. We've reupholstered this ourselves for the minute and booked in with someone to do really nice synthetic leather reupholstery. But while waiting for that, we've just done it ourselves quickly so the van can be used. I then fitted bolts to the cupboards underneath the bed. So I'm very nearly finished now. Been in with our local camper converter, was a van, for the last two days. He's done a really good job of all my lighting. Put my split charger, for the battery, all the wiring, control panel and light switches on here. Uh, supplied my hob and sink, which is there, ready to go in. Just connected the fridge up, that's all running. Got to cut a little bit out of the cupboard divider to fit the sink in. And then once that's in, the band's done and I can go on some little travels. So these are the final parts of the conversion, just connecting everything up. As you can see there, I've cut the scoop out for the sink in the kitchen divider. So all we we're doing here was sorting the tube, for the water pump for the sink connecting the sink or it's got electric starter on the gas hob electric spark so that had to be wired in the tap had to be wired in and the pump was assorted all the connections for me so they were really simple just fitted them up and then as you see here fit the sink that took a little bit more work as I say than I thought it would Fitting into the Trespur was a task that took a bit of time, snapped a few screw heads, so we used some stronger screws and it went in quite nicely. And then connected all the sink up, so I've got my drop out for my wastewater, fitted the tap, and then we were all good. So, as I say, the van is now 99% finished, it's taken us a total of 10 weeks. Obviously there's a few little snags, a few little tweaks that I've got to sort, but the van is now fully functional. I can go away and spend the night in it, cook some food, 
have a good night's sleep, hopefully. And like I say, just a few little things to sort. So if you did enjoy the video, guys, please give it a like. And if you want to be notified as soon as I upload again, obviously the videos now will be more travel based. I've got lots of things planned. Hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.